fourth grade today is day number one of our Victorian style house uh, where we're learning about value. Today you're going to need a pencil, a ruler or something that has a straight edge, and a piece of paper. Um, and then it would also be helpful to have that diagram in the slide where you choose the, the style of house that you want. All right. Today your paper can be vertical or horizontal. It really depends on which house you choose to do, which outline. All right. And remember, you can mix and match with your house. So if there's a porch on one house that you like, um, but then another part, like it's a two-story on the other one, you can mix and match the style you want. All right. Today I'm using my marker box for my ruler. Just whatever you have that straight edge will work. you got to use something with a straight edge because this will look sloppy if you don't. Okay, so... What we're going to do today is we're only going to focus on doing the outside shape of the house from that slide. Okay, and I'm going to try the best I can to draw this upside down. I'm using a marker so you guys can see what I'm doing. You're going to use a pencil. That way if you make a mistake, you can easily erase this. All right, so I'm going in and I am making the style house from one of the slides. Like I said, I'm trying the best I can to do this upside down with a marker where I can't erase. But I'm just drawing the outside shape. If you're having a hard time making your house, the houses are pretty geometric, meaning they have um, a lot of rectangles and triangles. So just look at the house and look at the sections and say, okay, this part, oh, I can do that. I know how to draw a rectangle. Instead of looking at the whole thing, thinking it's too hard to draw, pay attention to the sections because like I said, it's just a bunch of shapes, All right? So notice I'm just drawing the outside of the house. I'm not adding windows. I'm not adding doors. I'm just getting the basic shape drawn. And like I said, you can mix and match to create your own style house. There's going to be some overlapping happening in this project. Remember, overlapping is one thing, block something out, or block something else, covers it up. All right, let me think about how I want to do this one. I think I'm going to go like this. So I'm mix and matching mine. All right, we will worry about value. Um later value how light or dark a color is we got to first get through this and then we'll worry about the value all right so let me think do i want to add anything else you guys could add garages um stairs all right, just make sure you use your ruler because it does look a lot better when you do. I know it's more work, but I promise you it'll pay off when you do use it. Go in. Like this. Okay, so that's all we're doing for day number one. When you get done with your pencil, I want you to go over your pencil with a black marker, black Sharpie, black crayon, colored pencil, pen, something along those lines. Okay, uh, keep up the good work. Bye, friends.